I'm just waiting on a couple of PVC fittings to dry up there. Then we're going to fire up the system and try out our whole water system for the animals. I think it's just going to make life so much easier. What's up and good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another video. Well, we just went through uh, quite a crazy fire and thought we were in the clear for a minute, but you can see up on the hillside right there. That is pretty close to our house. We've apparently got fire number two. I see a lot of white smoke, but I think that's just where it's hitting spots that have already burned. Um, I've just called the fire department. They're not there yet. They've been alerted to it, so be a great time for my water trailer setup to be built. I'm gonna see how close we can get to it. Um, I've got shovels in the truck. I don't know, the flames are pretty big. I can see it from up on the hill. You know, luckily most of our property has burned, but you can see kind of where I'm driving through right now. There's a lot of trees that are still unburned. I mean, look how thick and brushy that is right there. And the fire is just north of this, so still on edge. Good news is they got a helicopter on it almost immediately. It looks like they've got a, they're keeping an eye on it right now. This guy's just, uh, he's circling in his helicopter. I'm assuming watching for flare-ups. You can see some flames on the backside right there. Let's see if we zoom in on those flames a little bit. We've all seen how quickly fires can spread out here. So I know a lot of this is burned, but there's still a lot that has not burned. The helicopter's been making water loops coming over top of me. I probably look pretty suspicious being the only guy out here uh, when a fire just pops up out of nowhere. The other problem is the wind is blowing it right towards my house. Oh, I can't win, guys, I can't win. Well, it looks like we got our first truck trying to make their way in right now. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but if you look at this first line of brush where it all was dead up until where it's living, there's a whole line of fire retardant still there, similar to that big pink streak that you see coming down the hill. So I think we got our best chance of it not coming this way, but again, like we've seen, these things go fast. So don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the sheriff just landed their helicopter on our property to let their little suction hose down so they can go grab some water. There's a lake right over there on the backside. Well, it looks like they're doing a really, really good job of getting that thing knocked out. You can see it's just barely smoldering now. Two water drops pretty much took care of it. So, hey, let's continue about our day while still trying to keep an eye on that just to make sure. Uh, it's crazy, you know? You think you're out of the clear, but, but you got to always be vigilant out here. Well, it's been confirmed. You can see the two guys that dropped on the ground right there. They're walking back towards the helicopter. Helicopter about to land right here on Rhino Ranch. Appreciate you guys. Well, now the fire's out. We're over here with our boy Dedek, trying to get this thing put back together. Pull some, some headers off. Oh, look at that, that was right in time. Perfect, that was the last thing. I can pull it out right now, it's already out. There you go. So he realized uh, yesterday that he just had a hole in his header. So there's a chance this engine's not as jacked up as we think it is. And I think once you see the size of the hole, you'll realize where all that noise is coming from. There we go. That's a header right there. Oh, jeez, dude. You see the hole? Where's it at? On your back, right by your knee. Right there, yeah. yeah. You can see there's a... Oh, I can see that hole. A quick repair made at one point. Oh, yeah, it looks good, dude. Get it right again in the same exact spot. Weird, that's hitting holes. You can tell it punched a bunch of times, too. Oh, yeah. So it held a lot. That stud just sticks up enough to where when the engine rocks real hard, and I've been, I've been running this truck hard, it'll just hit the top of that bolt, so this time I'm going to cut yeah, it flush. Yeah, we should probably, well... We got bigger plans anyway, but. Yeah, we do, yeah. but still, I'm gonna cut it flush because uh, what I'm about to do to this truck replaces all of that. Hey, you should unbutton more buttons on that shirt. Should I? Yeah, it's not enough. That's it, it's all natural, <laughs> happens all the time, right? Next up on the docket today is we're gonna do something that, whoa. Started attacking it, me. A snake? <laughs> it attacked Jeez. We're gonna do something to the golf cart we needed to do for a long time. Um, and yes, I know this is not a UTV. We do need a UTV out here, some type of utility vehicle, but you know, we're, we're ranching on a budget right now. I didn't anticipate, you know, 15 grand in fence and well repairs that were gonna hit me all of a sudden. We're gonna, you know, make this thing work for now. 
We got some goodies in the box right there that are gonna go on it. And we got our uh, master mechanic, Dedic. I don't know about all that. Don't put a hole in it like your header. <laughs> so this was my old trailer hitch. And believe it or not, this actually worked. Um, I just tied a loop in some type of toe strap that we had attached to the axle that I used, I think, when I pulled a bush out at my old house. And then, you know, just attached it to the seat post right there and we had a hitch and it worked. Worked well for pulling the trailer. Oh, what are you, taking a nap? It's a little pillow right here. All right, That's convenient. convenient. Hell yeah. Dude, Dude you already got gets. furniture. <laughs> <laughs> should, are we gonna announce it or? I mean, I, I think it's should, already a should thing. We announce it. I'm halfway moved in. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I guess we can give you guys the biggest announcement on the channel to date. Probably not the biggest announcement no, today. No, we but got one coming soon. I, I think that's bigger. Well, we already announced that. Did we though? Yeah. I don't know the order of these things. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless. Uh, What's going on in life? Yeah. So we have the guest house sitting over there. Our good buddy Dedic, uh has been eyeballing it for a minute. Oh, yeah. So I think, uh, you know, we pretty much settled it yesterday. Dad is going to be moving out to the ranch with us. Yeah. And it works out for both of us. Going to get some bunk beds, him and Chris. Who gets yep. top bunk? Oh, I'm always top bunk. You're always top bunk? No, actually, we're going to have the top bunk, but we're just going to cuddle in the bottom. Because <laughs> the bottom one's always the bigger one. Top bunk's just for, like, storage? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, before that happens, we got to make the golf cart today. A, uh, we're going to make it a four-seater with the flip-down uh, seat that turns into a bed. As well as we're gonna be putting a real trailer hitch on this, so I can actually pull the trailer, get like a tow behind sprayer and all that stuff, because we got a lot of weeds and stuff that we need to spray. Fire prevention, it's very important. Oh yeah. So we found that out. Yeah, we've got all of our goodies here in the box. Um, I actually went with, I think I went with a black seat. Yeah. So yeah, it's a black seat. That's black yeah. Seat. It's gonna get a little warm. Might be the hitch assembly. Oh right. yeah. Man, nothing's really labeled. So the thing with golf carts is, if you opt for a hitch that like works like a factory hitch, you can't use a rear seat because the rear seat usually comes down where the hitch goes. So I was, I was mostly shopping for a hitch, realized that was an issue, and then finally found a company that sells the rear seat with an integrated hitch. I doubt you're gonna be able to tow, you know, 10,000 pounds with it, but was that plush? That's nice. Oh, that's, I mean, I, I don't know Gusto. Hey, listen. Not, not the best stitching I've seen. Ranch life, all right? Oh, okay. We'll get these reupholstered in black so they match. Let's check the bracket. I see some hardware, I see a bolt down there. Oh, everything looks loose. Oh, joy. Oh, yeah, hey, look. I found our hardware. It's all coming out like a pinata. Diddy, you want that on the K20? Oh no. Oh, I want it. Oh no. Well, we got to remove the uh, the club holder first. Okay. All right. I already did that. Done. Done. Well, we're ahead of the game already. Yep, yep. Let's see what's under the bonnet. Yeah, look at all them ponies right there. Is that a genuine Moric speed controller? So, from what I read the reviews on these things, they're saying like they're model specific ish. So. Clearly, we're gonna have to make a little bit of modifications. Also, not the greatest instructions that came with these things, so we're just gonna start pulling stuff apart and see where stuff fits. Hey, it is looking better than we thought. I don't know about that. Oh, you don't know about that? I don't know about that. We got better one bracket on. Yeah, what? Better at this than drywall, I'd say. <laughs> a little bit. This thing's been sitting outside for a lot of its life, so all these bolts are, yeah, they're, they're pretty seized up. Now, there will eventually be a lift kit coming for this golf cart. Um, for those of you that knew the channel and don't know the kind of the story behind the golf cart and like my landscape management decal on the side there, the reason I never did anything this golf cart was where I lived in my old neighborhood, like it wasn't a golf cart neighborhood. Um, this thing wasn't street legal, but all of the landscaping crews that ran around the neighborhood had golf carts. So I made up a fake little landscape company. I made some decals on my decal cutter and I just wanted to keep it bare bones. I actually used to hang uh, like a yellow vest off the back and I could drive anywhere in town and never got stopped because they thought we were just part of the landscaping team. Remember how you're talking about the Y thing? Yeah. So that's where you would mount it if you had the Y one. For this one, it says right here, some models may need to top supports cut and or modified at the bend. Yeah, we ain't gonna do none of that. So it's saying to cut it and like bend it up to mount to there. That, that, this is fine. Top brackets are on. The roof is secured as it's gonna get for now. We gotta redrill these holes out to line them with the uh, bracket there. Not a big deal. Dedic redrilled the holes down below to get these second brackets on. And we only lost uh, one drill bit in the process. So far. So far. <laughs> I don't like seeing that puzzled look on your face. I guess it's this one. We'll go with that one. Yeah. Apparently, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Oh, like a glove. That's looking, that's looking more and more like a utility vehicle. With a little fighting, we got those two bolts to go on there. Okay, well, we're gonna take a little break from the golf cart project here because it is getting dark. We're gonna head over to our neighbor James's house because Dedic and him have a little, little bid nest. Yeah, we gotta take care of a little business. Gotta shake a hand over a deal. All right, we're creeping around James' property right now. There's a good chance we're gonna get shot, Dedic. Oh yeah, it's 50-50 right now. We really don't know where we're going. Nope. Oh, that's it. 
See it? Uh, you said there's a utility, but no, 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 that's no. his. That's I think is that his coming swap. That's the crew cab. I think so. I don't know. That's a nice bed. We should go truck shopping over here. Right. Uh, we got to show you guys that crew cab one day. He's got a coming swap uh, crew cab uh, square body Chevy. It's pretty sick. Well, I don't know I where we're going. Think if we park here and walk out that way. Yeah, dude, we need that. We need to start coming over here more and have fun. Yeah, I like this area. I'd be lying if I said we weren't shopping right now. Yeah, what do you got for sale, buddy? <laughs> you wish. We're liking a lot of these. What's going on, man? How's it going? Yeah, I'm in love over here right now. This would be, I'm kidding you not, this, he already seen my house. If I had something like this, this would be it. So everybody, I mean, I know I've shouted it out in the previous video. Make sure you go follow James' YouTube channel, which is Get Muddy. Get Muddy. Get Muddy, all right, yep. we'll put a link down in the description. I'm gonna apologize now, because Dedek's moving into the guest house, so you might find him like underneath your trucks one morning like a cat when you come over. So this is the, the Duramax that Dedek's Hopefully going to be swapping into his K20. And I say hopefully, he's already ordered the whole swap kit. Yeah. So <laughs> let's just say hopefully they can get it running good. Grab the rattlesnake. You don't see the rattlesnake. No, what are you talking about? Grab, you don't see the rattlesnake. What the fuck are you talking just about? Just grab the rattlesnake, dude. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. The rattlesnake. All right, I'm done with you. Okay, like I was saying. All right, walk over here and look at the rattlesnake. Oh, get the... <laughs> Some of the stuff you're gonna see on James's channel is a super sweet truck mounted slingshot. Jeez. I mean it. Woo! Can we make a seat for Dedek to get in there? I'm all about it. Yeah, we gotta launch Dedek. Well, we ended up spending way too much time over at James's house, and I think we're gonna have to put the golf cart project on hold till morning. It's dark out here. I know we got some light. We're actually gonna run back to the warehouse right now, take Dedek's header. Oh, the easy guy. We don't have the bottom supports on there, pal. Oh, she's not going nowhere. Oh, yeah, she's good? She's good. She's good. So we're gonna run down to the warehouse with Dedek's header so we can weld that bad boy back up and then he'll actually be able to drive that truck. Hopefully, hopefully. assuming that's all that's wrong with it. Yeah, hopefully I didn't actually spin that cam bearing. All right, we've made it back to civilization. Uh, how's the old Lexus do on the ranch line? I mean, it's a heck of a ranch vehicle, man. It ain't bad, honestly. I was, I was doing 30 on your road You were flying down there. <laughs> I feel like we never hang out here anymore, Dedek. This is this place existed. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, I don't forget it exists every time I have to pay for it every month, yeah. but. To improvise here with just some scrap metal so we can make a little patch instead of trying to just keep filling that hole that keeps sinking in. That's gonna suck. Alright, well, right, so we're doing it with our eyes closed. Yep. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot of eyes closed mm -hmm. tacks all the way around to seal this thing yep, up. That's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. Aesthetics, fabrication, and drywall. <laughs> yup. And I didn't come with my own tools. The welding hood don't work and we ain't got no brush. Yeah, I'll get a battery in here. Here, show you guys what showed up uh, for the 110 the other day. We got some more parts here. We quarter turn throttle, which is good because these things have way too long of a throttle. So going to a quarter turn is going to be nice. And we got the uh, Dirt Bike Kids triple clamp. So we're going to be swapping out the factory one with this booger. It is going to raise the bars up. Possibly too high, I'm not sure, because I went with the taller bars than Chris did. But <laughs> that is rude. That's what do you do? I weld better with my eyes closed, and I'm blind right now. Hey, bro, watch out, Jesse James. I'm an Indian outlaw. Well, we learned Dedek is a better welder with his eyes closed tonight. This thing's all welded up, ready to go back on the truck, so we will see you guys tomorrow. And we are back, day two, back here over at Rhino Ranch. Uh, we're going to be jumping on the golf cart project a little bit later today. We've actually already been working. I'm uh, starting to auger all the holes for the post because we still got about half the fence to build. We've got Abel and Poppy up there right now cleaning them out. Now the bad news is we've been running into some really hard dirt up there that even with the auger, we're getting about a foot down and it's just, it's hard dirt. It will not push through. So a few of these holes are going to be a little shallow. We'll just have to cut our posts a little shorter. Uh, once we started going down the hill back over there, it started getting softer. But the best news of today is... You can probably see the crane in the background over there. We got the well guys back out here. We got the new in-ground pump. We got all the new piping. Everything above ground's new. And it looks like we've already got water pumping up into our storage tank. And then here by, uh, you know, next couple hours, we should have water fully getting pumped to the house. And finally, two weeks later, we're gonna have some water. This side was one of our bigger stretches down. You can see all of the holes that we got going all the way down there. Coming all the way up to the corner of the property. Starting to make the run back down the hill over there. And then from here, we just got some panels that we have to patch in maybe 30, 40 feet at a time instead of one giant run like we've done right here. Whew, after two weeks with no water, you guys want to see a beautiful sight? Look at that right there. We got a full 
functioning sprinkler system. Our whole well setup is done. I mean, uh, kind of done. <laughs> you know nothing goes right around here 100%. Um, all the in-ground pumps done, brand new. Everything above ground over there at the pump house is all brand new. Brand new pumps, brand new everything, brand new pressure tank. The only thing now is there's a float valve. Well, there's an old school style valve inside that tank up there. The old school valves basically when the water level rises and of course I get a phone call every time inside the tank There's these little electrodes that when it makes contact to it It shuts it off. It's like an old-school way of doing it versus the mechanical float valve similar to you have in a toilet So of course the one that's up there is not working. So we're going to be uh, swapping that out of <laughs> Monday So the only thing we got to do now is we got to watch and uh, Yeah, once the water fills all the way up in the tank, it's gonna start to spill out a little bit We got to go shut the pump off manually, but either way that's plenty of water to last us uh, for a couple of days more until they can come out and replace that float valve I'm just waiting on a couple of PVC fittings to dry up there Then we're gonna fire up the system and try out our whole water system for the animals I think it's just gonna make life so much easier from hauling You know a couple hundred gallons worth of water in five gallon buckets every day like we've been doing for two weeks So Dedek's been over here cranking away getting the old gusto rear seat put on there. Jeez man, this thing's already <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if black was a good idea. Yeah, I don't think so either but... uh, Oh, well looking good buddy looking good. So this thing will be a flip over seat which flips over and forms kind of a little bit of a bed you know mainly because we were hauling so many buckets of water it would have been nice to have that but i'll take having water supply any day we're worrying about this and then our trailer hitch is going to go on mounts right up there to the footstep and we'll be able to tow my little trailer and then probably get a tow behind uh, chemical sprayer that way we could spray the weeds and stuff going up and down the driveway well we just got lots of good news today guys the golf cart is essentially almost done Dedek's putting the hitch on right now what do you think that thing's rated at, man? It's got to be like 30,000 pounds, right? One and a half Debras, I think. We've got all this hauling capacity on the bed. We could put like three bales of hay right here. All right, Daddy, you ready for the maiden voyage, buddy? Hop on the back, dude. I like the little two-tone, you know, the ebony and the ivory. Oh, all right. Oh, we got to take, we got to take this backing up seriously. All right, we're there. Woo, look at that. We got us a real hitch. Oh, hey, you got to sit on the back now and keep an eye on it. Oh, you right, you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're living the dream, Dedek. Yeah, yeah. What's What's up, donkeys? You want to go for a ride on the back seat? You gonna put Willie back there? Oh. Hop on up. Donkey ready. We're gonna have Dedek go turn on the main supply to all of these spigots, and let's see what happens. I should probably turn some of them off. We're gonna leave one open, so we don't have all the pressure hit at once. All right, Dedek, hit it. Let's see if we got water. Careful, Willie. My, you're in the splash zone, buddy. Oh, I hear air. Air is a good sign. We got water Woo, and we got good pressure too. Look at that. We're gonna let all that run out get any of the glue and stuff That's in there out of the pipe man. Am I excited that is that right there is gonna make life So much easier and more efficient over here like the feeding stuff has been pretty efficient The water was the one thing that was not efficient at all and man. I am so glad Look at that. Look at that pressure, Dedek. That's nice. That's some pressure, dude. That's nice. Hey, right, Dedek, show off your new boots, dude. Oh, new yeah, boots. I got, I got four-wheel drive now. What's up? I got rid of the chocolates. Yeah, we, we new boot goofing. Look at that. It's ranch, Dedek. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Couldn't do those in some chocolates. I mean, think we're good? Think we got all the glue out of the pipes? I think so. Oh my god, dude. That's nice. Such a relief. That's nice. The other cool thing we could do. Um, it gets really hot out here. I know the donkeys and stuff. They don't seem to mind the heat, but. We could totally put like misters, misters? in here. I was yeah. the same thing. We'll put misters in here, keep everybody nice and cool. Be the... <laughs> be the Living cool. that bougie life. Hey, we want to make things easy and we want the oh, donks yeah. and everybody to be happy. So happy donks, happy life. And guys, just like that, we have come full circle. Uh, golf cart's done. Headers put back on the K20. Let's see if she fires up or what she sounds like and see if it was actually just the hole or if this thing shot. It still got a tick. That's not nearly as bad though. That could just be a slightly bent push ride at this point. Try it out, okay. Dedek. Let's see how the hand wash station works, buddy. It's fancy. Ooh, look at that. Better than most, all right? Oh, this is, this is that look. No. I mean, you could. I wouldn't. Could. Man, you guys don't know how happy I am. Um, we just successfully changed all the water out in like minutes as opposed to what was hours before. And actually we couldn't change the water out completely because uh, we were on limited water supply and like i was not going to carry uh, another 500 gallons of water to replenish the water every day so we just kept it clean i had a pool skimmer i was going in there and taking all the the stuff off the top and keeping it clean for them they were happy but god this makes life absolutely so much easier and uh right now i'm just carrying around my my little hose which is right here 
until we get all the auto water set up just hook up my little hose and we're good to go got enough length to keep everybody filled will you happy walt you happy everybody good what's up wills yeah got the golf cart all done like whew, man i'm glad we finally get some victories over here um in a couple of days we're gonna get all the at least all the wiring done for all the lighting out here in the uh, in the stalls area as well as out by the chicken coop so that's going to be another huge win but with that we're going to wrap up as always thank you guys so much for watching if you're not subscribed already please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content especially all the cool stuff that we can finally start doing like new stuff at the ranch now that all the repairs are done well we still got to fix a little bit of fence then the repairs are done don't forget to give this video a like yeah, a thumbs up don't forget to check out workforwardapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life you got to be willing to work for it you guys are the best i'm out damn uh -huh. Yeah.